Hi everyone, Pat here. As we continue our journey through the world of optics, we're gonna spend some time talking about where these optics end up. While regular optics end up in eyeglasses, Optimax's optics end up in some of the most amazing applications out there. Today we'll talk with Andy and learn more about where our optics go. Well, optics go into many things. The aerospace industry, uh, the medical industry, medical components. One example of that is LASIK eye surgery, military applications, video gaming systems, cell phone, you name it. There are a number of, number of applications. Plus some of the cool technologies. Autonomous vehicles are a perfect example. See it nowadays with many of the vehicles that people are driving, they have road sensing systems on there. Um, the car can sense both, both sides, front and back. So if you get too close to a car, it slows down. It starts to get away, it speeds back up. Again. One of the coolest things that I've ever worked on is the Mars Rover project. We have camera lenses on the Mars Rover projects. We've had them on several different versions of them. We have optics on satellites that are around the universe. I like to say that Optimax is all over the universe. We have optics all over the universe. So I think for me, that's the coolest thing. So the difference between VR and AR is virtual reality, you're in this world. AR, you can see your surroundings and things are being put into, into, the, into view. So you're, you're actually not blind, <laughs> you know, you're actually, you, you can see it. And they, what they do is they don glasses that allows them to be able to see through um, fire and smoke. So when they go into a burning building, if there are victims in there, they can find the victims pretty quickly without, without the smoke or the, the flames deterring, you know, where they're going. So it's pretty cool technology. Now that we learned where optics manufactured at Optimax go, Stay tuned for our next video where we'll wrap up everything we learned and give you more information on how you can become an optics professional.